Welcome back. We're here with the flash and I got some go fast parts. All right, guys. So I got some go fast parts or actually a go fast part, which I have to put on the car. So as I explained in my last video, um, this is a 66 74. Okay. And it only produces about 660 pounds a minute of air. So I have to get a bigger snail. Well, I call it a snail. Bigger turbo housing and a compressor wheel, which has just shown up. So this is a 75 mil compressor wheel. And it is freaking huge. All right. And the new turbo housing, which basically fits that wheel. I know I could have machined that out or got it machined out, but um, it was cheap enough to get those two things. So I'm not worried about it. So I got to take this off and kind of get the whole turbo apart. And then I have to bring it to the machine shop. They're going to have to machine the back plate on this side of the turbo. And I'm bringing it to the machine shop tomorrow, but you guys are going to basically see it right after this clip because I'm going to see if uh, he'll let me film in there. So it'll be pretty cool if he allows me to do it. So just... Uh, Hang out, I'm gonna take it apart. All right, so we're gonna take the exhaust off first. Just kind of move that out of the way. So I gotta take that off down there. Which is that V band. Vacuum line. Right, I gotta put the camera down. All right, just got it off. So these compressor housings are exactly the same size. The only difference between the two is the wheel size or the compressor wheel size. So you can see, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I can fit four fingers right at the edge. And in this one, it just kind of goes right in. So you can see this wheel when it sits in here, sits right there. And this wheel doesn't even fit. So that's why I needed the bigger housing. So now what I gotta do is take off the oil feed line and the oil drain line. And then I could pop the turbo off and at least, well, at least the center housing or the turbo super core is what they call it. You can pop that off and uh, kind of compare everything. So this is the other V-band clamp that I'm undoing right now, which connects the super core to the exhaust housing of the turbo. Loosen it up. And then able to oh, gotta be a little bit looser All right and this whole core should be able to be pulled out 
But again, you know, everything in this world is hard with one hand. Alright. Here is Zikor. Give me one second, I gotta put the camera down. Alright, turbo's out. So, here's the turbo. Alright. So, this wheel is 66 millimeters across. This wheel is 75 mils across, 75 millimeters across. So, this one's only able to produce uh, 66 pounds of air a minute. This is able to produce 105 pounds a minute. So, that'll give me a thousand horsepower turbo, maybe a little bit more if I run some nitrous or methanol or something like that. It'll help. So, um, I'm gonna take this wheel off and kind of loosen it up and everything because it has to go to the machine shop. The turbo right here, you can see how actual thick this is, maybe like just say an eighth of an inch, and it has to sit inside this plate. So you can see it has to sit in this plate. So the only thing that needs to be done is this back plate just needs to be opened up a little bit more, not deeper, but wider. That way this can sit in there. Uh, it doesn't need to be open that much. You could probably see right here. I don't know how it's gonna show, but you could see right in here, it only goes down an eighth of an inch. Not even, it's like a 16th that goes in the back plate. I just have to open it up wider. So my local machine shop, hopefully he can put it on a jig and just kind of scrape away at the edge, edge of that to open it up a little bit more. So uh, I'm gonna take this apart, give me a second. All right, so on most turbos, I'm already aware of this, but on most turbos, the locking nut is actually opposite threads, so it's not righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It's lefty-tighty, righty-loosey. So my safest bet is just use an impact gun and act like I'm tightening it, just so you guys can understand, and then hold this side with my 12-point uh, wrench. And all you have to do with this, you gotta hold the exhaust side, just hold it with your hands or a rag so you don't cut yourself. And then you just gently twist this and pull out at the same time. And it'll slowly come off the shaft. You wanna be very gentle. All right, so. Right here. This is the lip, the edge that I was talking about. This edge, nothing else, just this edge has to be opened up more. So as you can see, it's a very, very, let me see if I can get, okay. It's a very tiny edge, but when I show you the difference in the two wheels, this is the wheel that's going on. This is the wheel that just came off, okay? So you can see, maybe if I flip it over to the back side. You can see that there is definitely a difference in size. Obviously, I'm going to compare the two like this. Let's get the holes lined up in the middle. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but they're definitely, definitely that one is much bigger. So as you can see, it's about, it's the same height, it's just a lot wider. All right, so now that the turbo's apart and everything like that, uh, there's two things I have to do. One is I have to bring it to the machine shop so they can bore out that centerpiece for me. And then two, I have to bring it to a local turbo shop that's gonna balance it just to make sure that it definitely is balanced. Um, and then I'm gonna put it back in. So the video basically, is gonna go from here to there. I'm gonna see if they'll let me film in there if they are awesome. So I'll get you guys some good content, all right? So hang around. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Race Car Richie here. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit too long to put the machine shop 
filming into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a part two for the machine shop only video where I bring the turbo over to the machine shop and we can go ahead and film over there showing how it's done and everything like that. So make sure you watch part two of this video. It's gonna be coming out on Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna try to do it for tomorrow night, but depending on how fast the machine shop can actually get the job done, um, it's gonna be coming out Tuesday. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. Peace.